When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Samsung big screen we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Time for that upgrade to an HD 3D web-enabled Samsung TV. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. Hi, I'm John Malos. Welcome to this live edition of Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this Friday, the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Today, it's the world of sports. We have a pro athlete in the house today. He's a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers of the NFL. 436 Me TV Option 11 will be here for one hour, 60 minutes, all the way up until 11 o'clock. So you have plenty of time to call in and ask your favorite athlete of all time a question or two. Who's laughing over there? Who's laughing? Hey, we got the big guy in the house today. Back in just a moment. Back here on the show on the showroom floor at Ventura TV, you're watching us live on Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6 as usual. And I can never say this enough, folks. We're glad to have you call in. In fact, we got some open phone lines now, but we're going to take them in just a few minutes. 436 uh, Me TV Option 11. Do call in. Uh, do turn down the sound, and you hear me reiterate that a million times. But today, we're going to be talking about sports, and it's my favorite topic because you know I started my career. Way back when, I hate to think about it because it seems like it's, it was like two or three centuries ago, um, but I started as a sportscaster and covered a lot of pro sports and college sports and high school sports. It was a lot of fun, so today's topic is one of my favorites. NFL camps uh, will be starting this month. July is NFL camp month, uh, and the National Football League will start their training camps in preparation for the upcoming 2014 season. Let me show you just a brief schedule. Let's put that up on the screen. It all begins on Thursday, September the 4th. That's the regular season. Green Bay Packers playing in Seattle, of course. The Seahawks, the uh, defending Super Bowl champs. You can see the screen up there. Both the Raiders and Niners open up on the road that following Sunday with Oakland playing the Jets in New York. The Niners are in Dallas. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, if, you, if, in fact, you are wondering, are at home against the Cleveland Browns on September the 7th. That's a 1 o'clock game Eastern time at Heinz Field. In fact, Heinz Field is the home of the Steelers, the six-time Super Bowl champions. Some here in the Central Valley will have all eyes on their local hero, a former Fresno State Bulldog who played under Pat Hill, and there he is right there. He is Isaiah Green, number 39, a defensive player who's the backup now to Ike Taylor. I think I got that right right at right corner but this year could be a breakout year for him as you see him up on the screen for green who is looking to earn a starting job on the Steelers defense last year his first full season uh, with the NFL he was with the Steelers prior to that he was on the practice squads with Buffalo and Indianapolis before finally making that 53 man roster last year in Pittsburgh hey I'm pleased to welcome live in our studio right now is Isaiah Green a current member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. There he is. We're glad to have him uh, in the studio. Glad that uh, he was gracious enough to take the time to come in on the 4th of July, no less. To take your phone calls at 436 MeTV Option 11. Do turn down the sound. Today, the world of sports, a first time guest, and the first time we've had a current and active NFL player on our show. We're back in just a moment. When you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality, who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined will help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. 
Always glad to talk about sports here on the program. You might recall a couple of years ago, we had head coach uh, Tom Flores of the Oakland slash Los Angeles Raiders here with us uh, doing a half-hour tape program. What a gracious man he is. Two-time Super Bowl champion coach. He played with the Raiders. He coached the Raiders. He's now a broadcast with the Raiders. Raiders are my all-time favorite team. Isaiah Green, you know that, but I love the Steelers, too. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. When they play each other, they played the last two years. We did. We did. Yeah, yeah. in Oakland. We did, and it didn't turn out the way we wanted to, but <laughs> I know you're happy about that. <laughs> That's okay. The Steelers, you know, they got six Super Bowl champ, uh, ch uh, Super Bowl trophies, six-time champions, and uh, there's a lot to be said for that. That's a very well-respected organization. Uh, of course, the Roonies own it. They have since the beginning of time and probably will from now until the end of time. Absolutely. What a great organization to work for, huh? Awesome organization. I've been, like you said, to a couple organizations with the Bills and the Colts, and those are just first-class organizations. But when I got to the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, I just felt like I was home. <laughs> Troy Palomalu, Ryan Clark, Ike Taylor, Coach Simon, those guys uh, welcomed me with open arms, and it just felt like this is where I needed to be. Um, so explain the difference between Pittsburgh and Buffalo in Indianapolis. Not that they're not professional organizations, but it almost seems like the Steelers are the upper echelon of the league. They are. Well, like you said, we have six Super Bowl champions, <laughs> you know, the most in NFL uh, history, obviously. Uh, I don't know where the Raiders sit, but, you know. Three. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, but respectfully to those teams, Buffalo and uh, Indianapolis, um, great organizations, like I said. But when I got to Pittsburgh, uh, the whole mentality was just a lot different. How so? Um, everyone just used to winning. You know, they, they did not take an 8-8 eight eight season lightly. You know, they everyone wanted to win. And it was just like everyone was like a brotherhood there. Everyone welcomed me with open arms. And it was just, just I can't even explain it, honestly. Words can't even explain the feeling I got when I touched down in Pittsburgh. They, they expect to win there. Absolutely. They expect no less, right? No less. No less. Super Bowl intentions every year yeah every well year. that's 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 where you want to be absolutely all right call coming in good morning you're on the show today caller go ahead big Steelers fan here <laughs> okay oh but, i'm a diehard Steelers from way back with joe green franco harris everybody yeah that's great that's great so you you uh watched all those super bowls all six of oh them, absolutely right? <laughs> absolutely i mean uh even after I lost my eyesight, I never missed one game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, very disappointed this last year, though. Oh, we all were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we all were. Trust me, like I, I don't said. think. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Ben's doing too, too good. But well, we'll give him another chance this year. You know what? Every year is a new year, and there's new opportunities. So just like everyone else, we're looking forward to do big things. Absolutely. I, you know what? I, on my bed, I have my Steelers blanket. In the living room, I got my Steelers blanket. I got my terrible towel. I got all kinds of stuff. My my jerseys, everything. And I'm a I'm a 68 year old woman. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, you know what they say? There's only two types of people in this world: Steelers fans and those who wish they were. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we're we're gonna make a comeback again. Yes, we are. Keep that hope alive. Oh, absolutely, and uh, nice talking to you. Absolutely, thank you for calling. Uh -huh. hey, that's Bye. A, that's a great phone call. So, how are you? How are you feeling? How you look? You look like a million bucks. You look like you could go out this minute, put the uniform on, and go out and play. Well, you know what? That's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. I did get a little workout in this morning, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm feeling great, though. I have an opportunity to do some big things this year. And, yeah. Uh, you know, the last two years I've been in the league, it's just been a growing process for me and a learning process for me. So this year is, a, is going to be a breakout year, like you said. Let me let me ask you a question, and don't take offense to this, but how tall are you? Um, I'm only about 5'9". Okay, 5, because I'm 5'9", and you're about what? What's your weight, roughly? Uh, roughly about 185. 185. How is it that, I mean, the... I, I, I have been to so many NFL games, probably hundreds of NFL games. The players are huge. They're yeah. fast as lightning. I remember Lawrence Taylor watching yeah. him play as a, yeah. as a young man. Um, big, strong, fast. How is it that you're able to survive in a, in a big man's game, let's say? Well, you know what? That's funny that you say that because growing up, you know, I always believed I was supposed to play in the NFL. Uh, when I got to college and things like that, uh, 
just doubt started to creep in a little bit. And I felt, you know, like you said, I'm only 5'9". So, mm -hmm. you know, I felt like I was almost too small. Uh, but you know what? I have a big heart. And, and you're strong. And I'm strong. I am. <laughs> for my size, I'm very strong. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when I, ha when I got to the NFL, I learned that it was a, thinkings man, a thinking man game. Yeah. So I have to be smarter than the next guy. <laughs> and I can, I can run, too, so I'm fast. So. You're strong, you're fast, and you're intelligent. Absolutely. <laughs> Those three That's a good combination. That's a great That's a combination. combination. Good morning, caller. You're on the <laughs> Well, you were. Anyway, uh, just a quick story. When I was covering the Raiders as a young sportscaster, I was only in my 20s. Remember Cliff Branch that played for the Raiders? They okay. listed him at like six feet. Uh, wide receiver, quick as lightning, yeah. and I used to kid him. I, hey, I want your job because you're no bigger than me. And and uh, but the difference is though, it's it really is speed, strength, agility, and intelligence, Absolutely. so you can outsmart your opponent. Absolutely. Isn't that right? It's all uh, mental. That's, that's it. It's all mental. It's yeah. all mental. If I can be two steps ahead of my opponent, I think I can win every time. Yep. We're talking with Isaiah Green, a current member of the Pittsburgh Steelers, a cornerback. He's going to fight for that starting job this year. You could see a lot of him, and it's going to be a long season. It starts in September, the regular season does. We're taking your phone calls today, as usual, 436-MeTV, option 11. Do call in. We've got a sports athlete, a great guy, and a great role model for you kids out there. Back in just a moment. Frigidaire. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Today is the world of sports, and let me tell you something, my friends. I've been a lot of athletes in my time. Each and every one has a story about how they got there. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of dedication, but you also have to believe in yourself. That is the one ingredient that I've noticed that, that separates the great athletes from all the rest, the pro athletes, is that they do believe in themselves and they have a lot of confidence in, and I would imagine that's a that's something that you've had to work on a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because not everybody is built in with automatic confidence. You kind of have to build it up to it, don't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Every situation that I've been through to get to this point has built my confidence. Yeah. Let's take a call here real quick. Good morning. You're on with Isaiah Green. What's your uh, question today? Oh, my question is, uh, what advice would you give Derek Carr? Uh, going into the professional level like he did is when he started uh, on the defense but uh, you know from a college level to a professional what kind of advice would you give him if you ever got the opportunity to talk to him you know I have a good relationship with DC uh, I actually played with him for a couple of years and uh, the biggest advice I would give him is just play his game he's an excellent quarterback a smart guy uh, knows a lot about football the best advice I would give him is just stay rooted in Jesus Christ and just play his game. He's going to be a great athlete. Yeah. Thank you, caller, for that question. And I want to talk about the Isaiah Green journey, your journey. I want to roll a little bit of a photo gallery here. You can look up on the monitor there, Isaiah, and you can uh, see what we're looking at here. Yeah, uh, yeah. How old were you there? How old was I? I was probably like... 12? <laughs> <laughs> About 12. Was that uh, like a Pop Warner league? Yeah, that was Pop Warner. Yes, Crenshaw Pop Warner. And what position did you play at that time? Man, I was so big. I played it all. Running back, quarterback, D lineman. And where receiver. was this? Uh, that was Crenshaw. That was in Crenshaw, uh, Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. All right. So That's talk a little bit about your journey and, and some of the struggles that you uh, went through as a play. Every athlete has a story, as Absolutely. I said, coming back out of the commercial. What is your story, and, and how can you inspire others, young kids, that aspire to, to do what you've done? Where do I start? Um, we have an hour, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, I grew up in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Uh, played Pop Warner, Crenshaw High, and uh, it, was, it was a fun time. It was one of the best times of my life. Um, I grew up with my mother and my older brother. Mm -hmm. um, 
You and didn't have your father with you in the house? Uh, not in the house. Okay. Uh, but I knew my father. Uh, we have a great relationship now. That's good. Um, and, you know, that's that's the story in itself. Uh, but we grew up, just my mother and my brother. Uh, we bounced around a little bit. Uh, my mother did everything she could to provide and take care of us, and she did a great job. Um, went to uh, Long Beach Poly High School. Uh, I didn't start playing corner until I got in the 11th grade. Because I wasn't too much sure what I wanted to play, whether it was running back or uh, corner. Um, you know, the confidence wasn't there yet. Uh, and I can tell you a story. The first time I decided I wanted to play corner is when I actually got a chance to hit my older brother in practice. And I said, this is fun. You know, I might like this. Um, so I got a scholarship uh, to Fresno State. Um, I grew up running track as well. I got a scholarship to uh, LSU. And everyone wanted me to go to LSU for track. Uh, but in my heart, I believe that I was supposed to play football. Uh -huh. um, you know, I was an All-American in track. I traveled to Africa to participate in the USA uh, World Games. Uh, one of 32 kids from age 15 to 17. Uh, so I had a little bit of speed on me. Um, but I always felt in my heart that it was my purpose in life to play football. Uh, so everyone around me was telling me to go to LSU, run track, go to LSU. It's the top-notch organization. But I said, you know, I want to play football. This is yeah. what I want to do. Yeah. Um, so I took a scholarship to Fresno State. Coach Pat Hill sat in my living room, kicked his feet up, made himself at home. Uh, just a great guy. And I felt like, you know, that is where I was supposed to be. So I actually ended up signing a scholarship to Fresno State. Um, when I went to Fresno State, uh, it was rough. My confidence wasn't there yet. Um, Go ahead. I, uh, okay. I, uh, it's all right. I, uh, I didn't know where I was going to fit in as far as football. You know, was I going to be a starter? You know, how, how much playing time was I going to get? Um, it took me a while. Go ahead. We'll, we'll pick up on that right after the call. Go ahead, caller. Go ahead. What's your question for Isaiah Green? Hi, Isaiah. I was wondering in this upcoming season, who are you most excited to play against this year? <laughs> well, you know we open up with the Cleveland Browns, so we get to play uh, Johnny Football. Uh, oh, so, Johnny Manziel. Yeah, so that should be exciting <laughs> for the first game. So I'm excited. I'm excited for that game. I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, any other questions? Carl, are you there? Oops, that, okay, went away. Well, yeah, Johnny Manziel, first oh, yeah. game. Oh, I yeah, first game. Oh, That's boy. I bet you were thinking about that the last Absolutely. few days, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's going to be fun, too. You have you watched films of him yet? I haven't. I haven't, but, I mean, you see his highlights everywhere. So. Oh, my God. You know YouTube everywhere. You know what he can do. You, you, you so know what he can do. It's going to be fun. All right, but you may be faster than him, though. I think I am. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, I mean, he's not going to outrun you, I no, don't think. No, but he can, he can move. He's shifty. <laughs> but, uh, you know, those big boys up front, you know, gonna get, they're going to get his hands yeah, on Yeah, but right? I, I've seen a few of your highlights over there. You're pretty quick side to side lateral Absolutely. movements and up the field i mean hey that's what keeps not, me alive not too many people can outrun you that's what keeps me alive <laughs> you know. so when you went to fresno state uh you didn't have the confidence you said and how did you how did you gain that confidence did pat hill help you you know what it a lot of the confidence came from just a lot of trial and error um you know i, I got my first start when i was a, a sophomore uh, mm -hmm. i played against wyoming in the um and uh, I think it was in the Mexico Bowl. And, you know, I, I, I played, but I didn't keep the spot. So, you know, I was going through a lot of uh, uh, mental battles in my head. Was I good enough? Was I not good enough? Um, you know, there was a time where I honestly I wanted to quit because. While at Fresno State? While at Fresno State. It was wow. my senior year uh, when I wasn't starting. My, at the beginning of my senior year, I wasn't starting. One of my guys came off an ACL injury. Um, and they put him uh, in front of me, and another guy was a sophomore. So, mm -hmm. you know, that was disturbing mentally, you know, uh, for a guy to come off an ACL injury and start before you, then a, a guy who's three years younger than you, two years younger than you, starting before you. Um, and my confidence was just wasn't there. And I remember sitting down, I'm telling, I told my mother, like, Mom, you know, I think after this season, I'm going to be done with football. What what year was that? Were you a junior? This is my senior year. Your senior this year. Is my senior Your year. senior year. Final year. So you thought at the end of Fresno State, that's it. That might be it. 
you know, because things weren't, the situation didn't look how I thought it should look. You know, I wasn't starting, so I, I felt discouraged. Um, and I sat down with my mother, and she really just, uh, she gave to me the scripture, Isaiah 40, 31. You know, those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. And she told me a lot about her story and how a lot of times she wanted to give up, but she had to keep pushing forward and keep pushing forward. And you know what? It just, it, it, it touched my heart, and it made me realize that she's right. So what I did was I found a way, how can I go help? How can I help this guy coming off this ACL injury? How can I help the young uh, sophomore? How can I help the rest of my team? You know, so I started being encouraging to everyone else. I started encouraging everyone else, you know, to be better. It also just made me feel a lot better about myself. And here I am now in three years in the NFL. How did that help your situation at Fresno State? Did you see more playing time after that? I did. I, I played. I started uh, midway through the first game mm -hmm. and started the rest of the season. So, wow. you know, just my mindset of, you know, not letting the situation uh, get the best of me. You know, always trust in the Lord and, and see where you can help somebody else, encourage somebody else, because it's not always about me. Well, I know we have to go to break. I want to put up Team Green, though, the photo gallery here, because uh, Team Green, meaning uh, the team that helped him, not only psychologically, spiritually, mentally, uh, there's your family right there. Explain who we're looking at there, starting left to right. Well, to the left, that's my beautiful mother, Alice Green. Um, that was me in the middle, my nephew, Zion Anderson, and my older brother, Ellis Anderson. Okay. Um, and the, there's your beautiful mom right there in the middle. That's my beautiful mom. Uh, that's us. We did an undie, uh, not an undie run. It was a, uh, a mud run. Oh, okay. It was a mud run, and we were the Dirty Dookies. Uh-huh. I was King Dookie. And what do we have here? Um, this was this was uh, my mom and uh, the rest of my support groups uh, at the Pavarillo house, feeding the homeless. Yeah, and that was just a couple of months ago, right? Just a couple of months ago. I wasn't there. I was actually in Pittsburgh, and they just, you know, they do doing great things without me on my behalf. That's great. And there's your mom again right there, there of course, wearing that Team Green uh, T-shirt, yep, right? Yep. And you're wearing the Steelers, of Absolutely. course. And where is this taken? Where was that taken? That was at the Pavarillo house as okay. well. All right. Um, hey, there's the guy, Hector Coronado, our guy here at Ventura TV, with your mom. Uh, both wearing the jerseys, and Hector's the man. We're going to talk to Hector in a few minutes because he's the one that helped get you here today yeah. for the interview, and I appreciate your time. Oh, no doubt. Very much. Thank we got to take a commercial break. We're talking with Isaiah Green. He is a current member, and you better watch out for him this year. He's going to be a starting player with the Steelers in that backfield, in the defensive backfield. He's a corner for your Pittsburgh Steelers, six-time world champions. Back here on Connect With Me in a moment. When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the KitchenAid appliances we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Save big with KitchenAid. Right now, get up to a $1,000 prepaid MasterCard when you purchase select KitchenAid appliances. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. Hit me again! <laughs> Chief, I think we got a hit on our Me hands. TV Fresno, now on Comcast Channel 187. A great story, a success story here on Connect With Me today, and I'm glad to uh, have now on the set, joining Isaiah Green as his beautiful mom. Uh, Mrs. Green, how are you? I'm great, thank you, John. Oh, Thanks for having us. It's good to see you. So, um, you know, he just told the story about, you know, how he was a little dejected while at Fresno State as a senior because he, you know, he was a, suddenly a back, he found himself being a backup and how you inspired him and I want you to talk a little bit about that because he looks up to you I know he does just in talking to him <laughs> absolutely he's got he's a great man he's a great young man and um, as a single mom and having two wonderful uh, great children they uh, they motivated me 
to figure out how I was going to do this and how I was going to do it well. We come from South Central LA where uh, one of our priorities is safety. So one of the things we um, actually focused on was education and come to find out these guys were athletically um, blessed with skills and speed and uh, I was surrounded by a great group of uh, people who actually supported um, me as a single mom and them as athletes so we spent days and hours on end weekly um, whether it was playing football basketball track traveling and um, i had an enormous support group that coming from was a such blessing. coming from such a you know a crime-ridden area down there how did you keep this guy out of trouble <laughs> as as a, you must be an incredible mom and a person to be able to do that because that's a rough area down there it is. How'd we learned how to it? put our dukes up, yeah. but spiritually. Yeah. How'd, <laughs> and, you, um, how'd you do it? It was a matter of um, my jobs. I was uh, my job background was in education with youth, so I was able to bring them to work with me. They were in programs. We met people, teachers, ministers, pastors that were all there supporting them. You know, it takes a village, and I was just in the right place at the right time to have all those resources to help me. And like I said, it was at that time that they, they realized that they had um, an athletic ability and then began to compete and win, and things went on from there. You know, it's one thing to have the ability the way Isaiah does, incredible athletic talent, but he also seems to have a lot of desire, which a lot of people don't have, and he's very intelligent. So that combination alone, did you notice those other two ingredients in him, that desire and that intelligence in him as a young boy? I hope so. <laughs> I did, and I was able to nurture that. Um, being mm -hmm. uh, one of the few in my neighborhood that actually got a chance to go to college, I ended up doing my bachelor's um, work at UCLA. And you begin to see how important higher education is, a certain quality of living, even though we were, you know, from South Central LA. Yeah. So I had great parents who also guided me as well, and I passed that on to my two young sons. Um, just the importance and priority of family life family first and it created big faith in them to go on to do yeah. bigger and greater things because you could be the greatest athlete in the world but you still have to have that desire if you want to succeed absolutely. would you agree with that isaiah absolutely, absolutely. um talk about your mom here and 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 don't get too embarrassed because i know how you feel about her and she she helped you out a lot and you, you've already described what she she did to help you at fresno state but growing up how did you view your mom Wow, uh, she was our rock, really. Yeah. Yeah, she was our rock. Uh, I don't know where we would be without her strength. Um, like she said, she gave up a lot for us, uh, her, me and my brother. Um, and it's just been just, I, I love her so much, man. I, I don't, I don't, words really can't explain everything that she's done for us. Um, beautiful spirit. She's. I think I have a lot of the friends that I have because of her. Honestly, to say the truth. Are you going to travel back to Pittsburgh this year for any of the games? That's what I want to know. <laughs> At least half of them. <laughs> At least half, really. <laughs> yes. Really. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. What what games do you, do you want to see? What other teams do you want to see besides the Steelers back there? Well, um, I'm actually going um, to the preseason games, and my goal is to attend all four of them um, as a support. Um, that's when the team is gelling and they're giving everybody a chance. So I want to be there in the beginning. Yeah. Um, so I'll be able to see them play the New York Jets, um, also the Buffalo Bills, uh, and also the Philadelphia Eagles and the South Carolina Panthers. So. That's great. You're going to get her 50-yard line seats, I hope. She Absolutely. can sit wherever she wants. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> On the bench, maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> Again, knows? I just want to add, I can't take all the credit for myself because this guy knew what he wanted to do at an early age. He was telling me what he wanted to do. See, that's that desire was talking yes, about. Yes, yes. He told me. So my goal, or my job was to develop a support system to nurture what his desires were. So he was surrounded, um, you know, by Olympians and coaches and yep. those people and um, educators that would support him and his goals that he identified early in life. Was he, is he a better athlete than his brother, you think? Actually, they're, they're totally two different things. Really? Um, one is speed, one is strong, one is endurance, one is perseverance, but they both played on the same teams. They ran on the same relays, um, so they encouraged one another. Right. What other advice, well, what advice can you give single parents out there that, 
you know, have two beautiful kids like you have, successful, but are now going through the same stages you did years ago with two or three or four young kids as a single parent? Well, motherhood is huge. It's huge, and um, I have much respect for it. It's right. one of the hardest jobs I've ever done in my entire life, but one of the most rewarding. Um, we put our kids first. We listen to them, respect them, and uh, walk by faith. Yeah, you've done a terrific job. Mother of the year. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Mrs. Thank Green, you. thank you it's so much. It's a pleasure. Much. Oh, nice it's my to pleasure. You. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, you're going to stick around. We've got another half hour to go here on Connect With Me. We're going to continue our conversation with Isaiah Green and even bring in our guy Hector Coronado for a couple of minutes because he is a rabid Pittsburgh Steeler fan from the get-go, from day one until the bitter end. Anyway, we're going to continue. 436 Me TV, Option 11, back in a moment. When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Whirlpool appliances we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Touch the new Whirlpool Ice Collection. It offers a modern style made to create an inspiring kitchen experience. Save big on this Whirlpool Black Ice or White Ice Kitchen. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. Back here on Connect with me, of course, 436 Me TV Option 11. And uh, we got a call coming in or no? Is it gone or it's gone? Oh, we still there. Okay, good morning, caller. What's your question, please? Whoops. Hello? Hey, caller, go ahead. You're on with Isaiah Green and Hector Coronado now, by the way, who's here. The, I think, the most rabid Pittsburgh Steelers fan in the uh, history of the Steelers. Go ahead, caller. Hi. I'm calling because I have an 11-year-old who is excited about football, and that's all he wants to do. I would like to know from Isaiah as a single parent, what is the best way that I can steer him? or lead him in the way that he should go? Well, at 11 years old, um, and he's passionate about football, um, continue to support him. Continue to support him in that passion. There may, there may be times to where he might drift off. Uh, there may be times, like in my story, everyone was encouraging me to go run track because they felt that that's where I should be. Um, but if he believes in his heart, that football is his passion and his love. Just continue to support him and love him and nurture him in that direction. Um, support is one of the biggest things that I contribute my success to. So just be one of his number one supporter. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for calling. I appreciate it very much. And Hector Coronado is up on the set now. Hi, Hector. Hey, how you Oops, doing? careful there. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so, um, hey, I appreciate it very much, Thank the you. fact that you uh, were able to convince Isaiah here. It didn't take too much convincing no, it to bring no, him no, in here he's today. he's a great guy. Yeah, great guy. So, you're the big Steeler fan. Look at this, yeah. Isaiah. I mean, yeah. you, you must feel like you're in camp I already. Love it, man. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. yeah, big Steeler fan. I've been one, you know, I'm going to hit 47. I've been a fan my whole life. Everybody at home, we're all Steeler fans. Is that right? Your yeah, mom? My mom, the kids. It's grandmas, grandpas, everybody. You got a call? Got a call? No? Okay. How did you become a Steeler fan out here in California? Um, I'm originally from you know Baja, California, and my dad has a lot of relatives from Dallas. And when I was a little kid in the in the early 70s, they used to talk a lot of smack about Pittsburgh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they were kind of rough on me. So the next time they came from Dallas to visit, they said, who's your team? And I said, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And, oh, they didn't like that one bit. <laughs> Why didn't they like the Steelers? What, uh, I guess in the, the set, in the early 70s, uh, Dallas and Pittsburgh, you know, they, they had oh, some yeah. Going, yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah they, they weren't too happy with that. But, you know, ever since, I've been one. And as a Raider fan, back in the 70s, as you know, Terry Bradshaw broke my heart many times, uh -huh. too many times to think about. Uh, uh, I hate to go back to those days, <laughs> but they had a great team. That steel curtain, that yes, defense, defense, oh, my God. And that commercial with Joe Green, oh, yeah. that little kid with the jersey, I mean, I still think that's the best commercial ever made, oh, ever, yeah. in the history of television. But oh, yeah, uh, one catch. So, yeah, that, that's right, that one catch. <laughs> nice I'm going to give you an opportunity to ask Isaiah here any question you want about the season. Um, I mean, you have your, your big shot here, Hector. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I saw who we're playing this year, and it looks like it's going to be a good year, but Absolutely. I really think that this year is, is the sealer year. I really do. You know what, and it's funny that you say that because just the vibe of the team, the camaraderie of the team, 
I feel the same way. Yeah. I feel the same way. Yeah. The only thing is if you can just shake Ben's hand for me and tell him. I let him know. That sounds good. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. You got absolutely. one big fan here in Fresno, oh, or yeah. several big fans yeah. here in Fresno. You know, Bell's hot. Bell's hot. Yeah. Oh, man, we got Bell and uh, LeGarrette Blunt back there now. And, yeah. Oh, uh, Powerhouse. I'm, I'm hoping to go out that way when, when you're in watch that watch the game there at home. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. What's your question, please? Hi, John. Um, it's more of a um, kind of a call in that I was going to do earlier. Yeah. Uh, but your guest, Isaiah, has intrigued me talking about the spiritual aspects and serving at the Pavarello House. Um, my main thing that I was calling in for today Happy Fourth of July. Humans love it, dogs and cats, not so much they hate it. <laughs> keep your animals inside tonight, please. Okay. Um, keep them contained and safe. Rescue workers know, and also when you're driving, beware of, I'm not kidding you, I keep, I've got my thing turned down, I can see you guys laughing, but um, <laughs> dogs will be darting out in the street tonight, they hate fireworks. Um, they can't tell the difference between the 4th of July and an actual war, you know. Right. So I see I've got Isaiah laughing. Um, <laughs> you have That's served true. with Pavarello. I see, I heard you speak. Yep. I'm watching you. I, I can judge by your body language. I can't hear you, obviously. Um, I'm a 56-year-old disabled woman who uh, God works through my life. Uh, by me helping animals okay. and I want to let you know about a great organization um, they have helped me uh, actually spay 13 feral cats since May which is amazing thing accomplishment to do um, anybody low income uh, people that even their domestic dogs and cats just call 559-961-SNP. I do not work for them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like trying to. Right. Uh, but donation boxes are going to be going out, uh, basically for my closest area, feral cats. We have a huge problem. Probably okay. 500 freaking cats in this area. All but right. anyway, Isaiah, um, I understand that the Steelers are like uh, the Metallica of the... Uh, I'm not into right. football and stuff like that, so I'll let you go. Okay. Um, but but Isaiah, do you think that you, um, you could maybe uh, snip rocks, the snip team, um, on the back of their thing, my shirt that they gave me? All it right. Says, I'm into S and N, as in spay and neuter. All right. You think that you could maybe help out the snip team? We'll look in into the future, it. Isaiah. We'll definitely look into it. All right. And I'm going to turn my TV back up and let John get back to his. Okay. I know this voice Thank is you. your thing, John. All so. right. <laughs> Thank oh, you okay. very much for the call. Uh -huh. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Well, you do uh, uh, um, donate a lot of your time to charity, do you not? I do. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that before we go to break and well, say goodbye to Hector here. My <laughs> guy. <laughs> and um, your guy. Yeah. Well, the last time I was down here for break, uh, I volunteered at the Paparello House. Uh, you know, the Lord put on my heart that I'm not only in this league just to play football, but I'm in this league to inspire and to encourage and to actually serve. Um, just like the Lord Jesus Christ, he gave his life for us as a servant. Um, so that is one of my mission statements is to serve. So my family and I and the rest of my support group, uh, the guys down at Michelangelo's Pizza in Clovis, they came uh, down to the Paparello House and we just donated our time and our money uh, just to give it back to the uh, community of Fresno. And that's what it's all, all about, giving Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Giving back, no question. Yes. I know you and I are going to go back and forth on the Steelers here during the course <laughs> of the season. Yes, uh, I'll be coming in on Monday mornings, and Hector will say, did you see that Steeler game yesterday? <laughs> My guy. <laughs> that's what <laughs> it's good seeing you again, too. Man. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you were able to make it. All right. We're not done here on Connect With Me. We're going to come back with Isaiah Green. Hey, thanks, Hector. Thank I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Fourth Three six me TV option eleven. If you have a question for Isaiah, he's our guy here on Connect with Me. Back in just a moment. Go Steelers! When you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality, who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance, with billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined. 
will help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. Hey, back here with Isaiah Green of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I hope you can call in at 436-MeTV, option 11. We do have a, an open line. Our lines are open right now up until 11 o'clock, so do call in. Isaiah, I want to put up some more uh, pictures up on the screen. we got some pictures of you in your living room. I took off your Facebook page, by the way. That's on your bike, stuff of you working out. Go ahead and take that full screen so we can see it. Um, there you are right there. Uh, where is this at? That's in uh, OTA, at practice. Okay. Uh -huh. Those are my guys, the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's the defense in the yellow, offense in white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's me going up for the ball. All right. Was, was this mini camp? No, that's uh, that was last year at practice. That was last that's year in practice. Year practice. Yep. Hey, there you are. There I am working on my feet, mm -hmm. Jump, jumping rope. Mm -hmm. Very important. And then I think uh, the next stuff is, oh, there you are. Man, that was a spin class I did. We, we did 21 miles, and I was drenched. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, getting my abs right right there. LeGarrette Blunt, Vince Williams, Keon Wilson right there in the picture with me. Right. Uh, those are a few guys. So Marco Thomas, Vince Williams, uh, Terrence Garvin after the spin class. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's 80 pounds, a little warm-up right there. That's a little warm-up? I don't even think I could do that. <laughs> what are you doing here? Working out, uh, just getting my chest getting my chest a little bigger. Yep. Uh, that's Marco Thomas. Uh, he was racing. I wasn't. I was just warming up there, too. Uh, yep. <laughs> Some great photos. That's that practice uh, in OTAs recently. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Yep, some abs. We call those skydivers right there. Oh, really? Yeah. And You're bouncing up and down on your chest just, on there? No, just, 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 uh, just staying firm. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. I see. I see. I want to okay. skydive, really, too. Uh, getting the, the hips loose. Mm -hmm. That was me. Yeah, a lot of hard work goes into it. Carter, are you there? Nope, you were there. I guess they got tired of waiting. So, you know, putting in the hard work during training camp, what is that like? Tell um, us. You know what? Um, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, going out there every day, twice a day um, in 90-degree weather, um, it's tough. But, you know, once I, I found out, once I got on a routine, and just started taking it one day at a time and focusing on one thing at a time, uh, it becomes easier. Uh, but it's also fun being out there with the fellas every day, uh, getting to know everybody, and just playing the game in football itself is just amazing. And when do you start training camp? We start training camp on the 25th of okay. this month. Of this month. Yes. And during the off season, it's not like it was in the old days, Isaiah, because I'm an old guy compared to you. But um, um, in the old days, you know, when the off season came, players did nothing but tell us what you do in the off season to stay in shape you know what it's we only play uh from september and this year hopefully until february which is the super bowl <laughs> in february yeah. um so i had this month last year i was home in fresno from uh january to march okay. uh, so i had that time off i'm always active i'm always trying to stay active i don't eat as good as i do during the season but i'm always active working out running um, I like to take little trips, travel a little bit, just to get my mind away from football. Um, spend some time with my family. Uh, like I said, give my time. Do things like Paparillo House. Give my time. Uh, but I'll go back in Pittsburgh in March. I went yeah. back in March and was right back to the grind. So there are time, There are down times when you just have to forget about football to kind of recharge your battery a little bit? Absolutely. Absolutely. There are yeah. times where you just have to just get football off your mind because that's all we do. That's our job. You know, yeah. so when you have a downtime, we have downtime, that's downtime. Yeah. All right. Uh, our phone lines are open, 436-MEAN-TV, option 11. Do call in and talk to Isaiah, ask him a question, and we're going to continue with our program here on Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6 in a moment. <laughs> From now on, when I sneeze, I'll try to sneeze more friendly. <laughs> I 
always interested in a couple of things uh, in talking to professional athletes, and that's number one. Here's one of the questions I've always, and I've never really gotten a clear answer on this, even with the Raiders and 49ers I covered throughout the years. I'll pick up on that question after the caller uh, calls in here. Uh, good morning. You're on the air with Isaiah Green. What's your question? Hi. Um, being in the NFL now, is there anybody that you, that you played against or, or played with that you can really say is all that and a bag of chips, you know, how some of these Eagles go in the NFL? Yeah, well, you know, uh, like I, I played on a couple of different teams. I, I've seen a lot of guys as far as uh, receivers. Um, on my team specifically, uh, yes, Troy Palomalu is all that and a bag of chips, um, obviously. But offensively, uh, I played against great guys like uh, Stevie Johnson, um, Antonio Brown, who in my, in my personal opinion is just one of the greatest receivers out there right now. Um, those 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 guys come to mind. Those guys come to mind. Ben Roethlisberger, oh my gosh, Andrew Luck, those guys have it. Yeah, no question about it. But the question I have is, how in the world do you memorize or study so you know the playbook inside out like the back of your hand? I've seen those NFL playbooks. They're like this thick. Yeah, oh absolutely. I mean that's that's incredible. Absolutely. How do you how do you digest all of that information. Well, you know what? Now that I'm not in school, I have a little more time <laughs> to study those things. Um, but uh, when I first got to Pittsburgh, I look at guys like Troy Polamalu. When I first mm -hmm. saw him, his head was always down in his playbook. And that's why he is a great player, because he studies like it's his job. And it is our job. Uh, so I take 10 minutes a day usually just to kind of go over everything. And I watch a lot of film, uh, which a lot of great players, all the great players will watch a lot of film. Um, but that's how you become great. Caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Doris. Uh, uh, I noticed that he's in tune with the Lord and whatnot, uh, which is uh, commendable. Uh, just how would you advise young players coming up to the league about the drugs and the money once you get up to the to that level that a lot of it goes uh, into their heads and they have people around them that are into the drugs and if you ever got the opportunity to minister I think you would be a great minister uh, how would you advise them to stay away from it well um, that's a great question because first and foremost you have to know who you are um, in Christ Jesus and that's the biggest thing uh, in the NFL. It's it's typical for you know the money, you know the partying, things like that. But there are a lot of great Christian men in the NFL. Uh, but first, I would say know who you are, know why you're in the league. And for me, like I said, my purpose I felt like was to be able to minister, was to be able to have this platform to tell people that it's not about the drugs, it's not about the money. You know, it's about serving, it's about uh, being a a vessel for Jesus Christ and helping others. Um, so that's the biggest thing is just knowing who you are in Christ and not letting the world or the NFL dictate who you are. Great uh, commentary here by Isaiah Green of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Speaking of which, I want to talk about your head coach just a little bit, Mike Tomlin. He's been a longtime coach now, uh, what, five, six, seven, eight years. Yeah. There he is, a picture of him right now. One of the great coaches in the league right now, no question, he's got two Super Bowl uh, trophies under his belt. Tell us a little bit about the man, Mike Tomlin. We know Mike Tomlin, the coach, and what we see on television. We know he's an intelligent guy. We know he knows football. What kind of a person is he? Now, I'm glad you asked because Mike Tomlin is just a great stand-up guy, mm -hmm. all-around guy. Uh, when I first came, he he actually gave me like tickets to like a concert, and he said, "This how we this how we welcome people here at the Steelers," which was amazing. Did you see, by the way, uh, it was I think it was Wiz Khalifa. I probably went for like <laughs> twenty minutes and left. And but, left. Yeah, <laughs> but it was just great to know that that's how you know the organization is ran. Um, we sat down and talked in our exit interview after the season last year, and uh -huh. had multiple conversations on a personal level, uh, a man to man talk, a man to man talk, and. You know, I just tell him about my family. I tell him about, you know, my relationship with my father, my relationship with my mother and my brother. And his story is a lot similar to mine. And I told him, you know, my father was coming up uh, to Pittsburgh one day. And uh, Mike Tomlin, what he did was he set up uh, an appointment at a restaurant for me and my father to sit down, just have a great meal together, 
um, all expenses paid for, and, and just a great man of integrity. He worries about yes. the man and not just the business. That is amazing. I'm glad you told me that about Mike Tomlin. We do have a phone call coming in. Good, good morning, caller. What's your question? Hi. 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 Go ahead. What's your question, please? Hurry. Hurry. Go ahead and talk. Oops. He just wanted to say hi. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, he's a Steeler fan. <laughs> that's right? all that matters. He's a I'm glad you told me that about Mike Tomlin. Let's roll the videotape. I do want to talk about Ben Roethlisberger. You touched on him just briefly. He's the almost. I guess you could call. Is he the franchise of the team? Absolutely, absolutely. Talk, talk about Ben, the man that you know and have gotten to know over the uh, course of the last year or so. We know how great a quarterback he is. Well, you know what? Ben's our leader. Ben's, yeah. Ben's the leader of the team. As you see, he's doing just great things. That's what he does. Call him Big Ben just for that reason right there. Mm -hmm. um, but as a as a uh, a guy, you know what? I've been around a few quarterbacks, and Ben, uh, you know, he will stop and speak to you. He will stop to check on you, see how you're doing. Um, you know, he just had a son, and I know uh, him and I sat down and we talked, asked him how his family was doing and things like that. And you know, he's just, he's just like everybody else, man. You know, people see these pads and helmets and think, you know, that these guys aren't people. He's just a great guy. Is he a bigger-than-life figure? He's a, he's a big guy. He's a big he's guy. He's a big guy. But I mean, I mean, not in the literal sense, okay. but I mean, is he a bigger-than-life figure? As we look at him on TV, we've seen him win the Super Bowl a couple of times, and he's almost like a bigger-than-life guy that can do almost anything on the field. Oh, I mean, you see the highlights. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you it's see, amazing, you see huh? The highlights, man. <laughs> I mean, look at that. He does it all. How he many people can do that? <laughs> he does it all, man. He does it all. And I think just his attitude um, off the field just helps him because he likes to bring the offense together. Yeah. Um, and he's, I just, mean, he's just a great leader. Man, look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's a great quarterback, no no doubt. And you know what? You've got a great future ahead of you. You're going to be a great one. Thank I you. know you are. Um, Isaiah Green is here, and you are there. So that means you can call in at 436-MeTV, option 11. We're back with our remaining moments with the one and only Isaiah Green. When you're looking for whirlpool innovation and quality, who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined will help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified Whirlpool appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. And back here on Connect With Me, here on the showroom floor at uh, Ventura TV, I want to show you the starting defense for last year uh, on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Go ahead and comment. we got two full screens here. Leave that up until we, we, we uh, until Isaiah can get through them there. Go ahead and talk Cameron about it. Cameron Hayward, uh, Ohio State guy, Steve McClendon, uh, those two are just dominant in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, young guy, I think he came out of uh, Northwestern, uh, has a lot of potential. Chris Carter, my guy. Uh, went to school together. We actually played Pop Warner together. Now we're on the same NFL team. It's amazing. He's huh? going to have a <laughs> great year this year. Uh, Vince Williams came in and started as a rookie. Somebody went down and he stepped up and did a great job. Um, Lawrence Timmons. What can you say about oh him? He's my great. Gosh. He's great. I don't think he gets enough respect, but he is he is literally top, top three uh, linebackers in the league. Uh, yeah. Jason Wells. Great guy. They just paid him, got him another contract. William Gay, one of the smartest guys I know on the field. Will Allen, 10 years in at Ohio State. Just an a excellent guy on and off the field. Ike Taylor. One of the best. One of the best, man. He's been doing it for 12 years and yep. just a great guy. All right. A call coming in. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me, your question caller. Uh, yes, I'm the one that called earlier. I just wanted to know, is there some way that a website that we can get a hold of him? Because I want to <laughs> congratulate him because I know we're going to win every game this time. Okay. Thank but you. I have a Facebook page. Yeah, what just do you do? a Facebook uh, fan page. Isaiah Green, Steelers, cornerback number 39. Okay. Good. Good deal. Thank uh, you. Thank can, you very can much. Can I ask you a favor? Can I ask you a favor, please? Okay, quick, because we're almost out okay, of time. Okay, can, can you repeat it again? Because uh, I'm going to record it since I'm blind. I can't write it down. Isaiah Green, Pittsburgh uh -huh. Steelers, number 39, Facebook. Okay, thank you. All right, have a good one. Thank you so much, and, uh, you know, thanks for watching and calling in. I appreciate it. How much time we have left? About, what, four minutes, five minutes? Okay, four minutes. 
I want to run this piece of videotape. We've got sound on it. You can take it. This happened before you were born, by the way. Okay. I'm not to insult you or anything, <laughs> but way before your time. And this is one of the stakes through the heart of a Raider fan, a diehard Raider fan. Let's roll it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Last chance for the Steelers. Bradshaw trying to get away. And his pass is broken up by Tatum. Tipped up. You talk about Christmas miracles, here's the miracle of all miracles. Watch this one now. Bradshaw's lucky to even get rid of the ball. He shoots it out. Jack Tatum deflects it right into the hands of Harris. And he sets off, and the big 230-pound rookie slipped away from Warren and scored. I still, what's it been, 40 plus years? I still have not recovered from that. So that was a pass, the immaculate reception, Terry Bradshaw throwing downfield to Frenchie Fuqua, as I recall. And at that time, the NFL rule was if the, if the receiver on the same team could not tip it to his own player. So the official ruled that Jack Tatum actually tipped yeah, the ball really into the hands of Franco Harris. And the wrote. game was over. <laughs> ah, right here. <laughs> that was a Christmas miracle. Oh, my gosh. And that that's going to live on forever. I know. That's going to live on forever. I mean, as soon as as soon as I got the call from Pittsburgh, you know, come <laughs> come, you know, come join the team. That's the first thing I thought about. <laughs> the immaculate reception. Oh, You're man, kidding I'm me. serious. And literally when you when you get off the plane and uh, go pick up your bags off the airport, they have Franco Harris statue <laughs> right there catching the ball. I'm like, oh, I love it. I love uh, it. Look at Hector on the side. They're smiling and laughing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, man. You know, that year that was 1972 at three, the old Three Rivers stadium they had the astroturf what's it like to play at Heinz Field wow I mean we just it's, it's amazing <laughs> though it's, it really is I love the field I love the stadium uh, we have the river on, on, on the back of the stadium you know it's it's, it's lovely Every, the crowd is amazing gets loud you know they play the song renegade and oh man that crowd goes crazy it, I want you to talk about your your possibility of starting. Are you going to start this year at you know, that right corner or left corner? You or? know what? I, I'm not going to make any uh, you know throw anything out there, but everything's open. You know, we have Ike Taylor and Cortez Allen, which are two great corners. Um, but there's a possibility where I can see some field, see the playing time this year. Um, and like like I said, I'm just going to do my part. You know, I'm not worried about anybody else, but I'm going to go in there with the attitude of get better every day. And let Do we fall. as fans make a bigger deal out of starting than we should? Because you may not be a starter, but you're going to get your share of playing time. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think so. You know, the, the glory and the fame comes with the starting position, obviously. I know. I know. Uh, there's 32 teams in the NFL, and there's two starting corners on each team. You know, so that's it's, it's, it's really, really just a great position to be in. Um, but it takes a whole team. It takes, yeah. you know, 53 right. players to get the job done. Listen, I know you're on the practice squad of the Buffalo Bills. We have a minute left, and uh, and we should all send our prayers to former Bills quarterback uh, Jim Kelly. Yeah. You know, battling cancer right now. I know you know that, and uh, hopefully we can send some good thoughts and prayers Absolutely. to him and his family. And I hope you can come back. Will you come back on our show? Man, I love it. Even Absolutely. if you win the Super Bowl? If I win the Super Bowl, I'm, I'm coming with my ring, too. So You're going to come with your ring? Yeah, All right, absolutely. Go, go, with this finger, this finger. <laughs> or this finger. I don't know which one. You, know, I, you, know, you can know, wear it man. anywhere you, you want. Anywhere, man. I'll just anywhere. You can wear it on this one. On the pinky. You can wear it on the I pinky. might get a little pinky ring. You never know. <laughs> Isaiah Green, good luck to you. Yeah, and, thank you. And you know what? Stay safe this year, too. Thank you. Play hard, but be safe, Absolutely. my friend. Absolutely. Thanks we'll, for having me. I'll be rooting for you. Appreciate you. All right. Isaiah Green of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hope you have a happy 4th of July. And our thanks to our guest today for taking the time on this 4th of July to uh, come in and talk to you, the viewer, and to answer a few questions and have a few laughs, right? That's what it's all about. Have a good time. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday for On the Air, Off the Presses.